Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of Stand Back and Talk. I got with me one of my co-hosts on commentary and a wrestling extraordinaire, if I must say so myself. Vpoc, welcome to Stand Back and Talk. Great to be here. Well, nonetheless, Vpoc, we got to talk. About, we're, we'll be covering a couple of subjects here. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say congratulations on your victory over J.C. Wolf. That is a huge win for your career. It most certainly was, and God, did it feel good to shut him up. I mean, I mean, you 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 saw fan arc, right? I did. It was one hell of a match. Yeah. I mean, he was. I mean, you should have seen what you should have seen what was happening in the gorilla position. I mean, he was going. And J.C. Wolf was in the ring, going on and on about, "Oh, I got the boo boo on me noggin. I can't compete tonight." Yeah. Speaking of, and his it, yeah, his promo was literally putting everybody to sleep in the gorilla position. I literally had to wake the guy. I literally had to wake up the production crew to tell them to signal the the production truck to play my music. Well, not nonetheless. Uh... A lot of people critical of that as well, but, but not me. I'm I'm so happy because you got a huge career boost from beating him, um, in my opinion. But at the same time, the a lot of people have been critical, saying that if it wasn't for what Malik Brown do would do him, you wouldn't you wouldn't have beaten him. Well, that is their opinion, and I do respect their opinions. But quite frankly, I don't know. It might. I think it might have turned out the same way either or. Well, nonetheless, um, I I told J.C. Wolf to keep thinking that he was gonna. Oh, he was get, that he was gonna dominate the whole match and keep underestimate underestimating me. And well, look what happened. Karma's a bitch. That's true. But moving on. Uh, speaking of Malik Brown. And, of course, the faction he's affiliated with, the NIS. Matt Farrow getting in a beep, bit of deep water on Fury yesterday. Um, not only with the, the new GM of Fury, the Smoke, but also um, calling out each member of the NIS individually, especially Smokey, in a way that a lot of people thought was a bit much. Your opinion? Well... <laughs> I'll, I can tell you one or two things. Either Matt, either Matt Farrell has the biggest set of balls in virtual wrestling today, or he's got a death wish. I mean, Matt Farrow did even threaten to show up on takedown. Let's not forget. And you were there on commentary when Malik Brown cost him the hardcore championship. Yeah, I was. I was there. I, I saw that whole thing. And, and, and I'm... Sorry, I left you high and dry on commentary, but that just that just that it, it, that, that just annoyed me. I mean, I I have to put up with it when I'm doing commentary with DCA, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to I didn't want to have to put up with it in other promotions. Indeed. Well, um, a, a quick of an official announcement. Not sure if Matt Fair is going to get his wish for it to be an unsanctioned match, but um. Officially, at Call All Stars Nine, Matt Farrow will take on Malik Brown. And I wish him the best of luck, especially if Malik is still Celestial Champion by the time he gets by the time Call All Stars Nine happens. Because uh, then that means Matt, that means Matt will get a shot at the Celestial Indeed. title. Indeed, congratulations to Matt Farrow. But, but moving on from. Uh, Moving on from Matt Farrow, let, let's talk about some other things, VPOC, real fast. Uh, like, for example, if you were in TPGW, if you were if you were to wrestle in TPGW, who who do you think you would have the best match with? Well, let's see. I've called a few T TPGW events. I could tell you who I'd like to team with. You're going to say Land Creek, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> Well, the Pandoran Psycho has been uh, uh, a bit back to his old ways, speaking gibberish backstage. We haven't really heard a lot from him. Um, luckily, I luckily I understand gibberish. 
Well, do you, do you understand what this means? Um, that, that these are Land Krieg's words. Uh, the blue beetle shall be crushed in the fields of Pandora as my meat bicycle pounds down upon him and I take the shiny stone. What does that mean? I know exactly what that means. What does means. that mean? He's he's telling me that his, he's telling me that his favorite dish is. Uh, hold on, I, I can understand this. It, it, blue bean, his favorite. Oh, he likes the bloomin' onion from Outback. Now that just sounded like gibberish. The explanation did, but <laughs> but to be fair, um, if. So, um, in all honesty, if you if you would want to actually face anybody in the ring here, who would it be? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> well, I'd say that guy with the million and one DDTs. Oh, What's Jason his name Collins? again? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you who I definitely want to stay away from. Oh, I yeah, there yeah, and it's only be and it's only because he creeps me out on all levels, and that's that Doctor <laughs> Dream guy. Don't like the bleach chest hair, huh? <laughs> how does, how can anybody do that? Is beyond me. Ugh. And then, uh, final question regarding uh, TPGW, and then we'll move on to one last subject before we wrap up this interview. Um, I'd say, officially, um, if you had an opportunity to challenge for any championship here, what would it be? That would be an interesting question. If I could challenge for any championship? Besides the obvious choice of world title. Well... Uh, I'd say I'd go after, uh, let's see, ah, uh, the, the belt that Tommy Ventura uh, the now has. Crown Championship. Yeah. He, 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 he's, I'm disappointed in Mr. Tommy Ventura. That's true, Holly Harris interfering. But let's not forget that Tommy Ventura has officially fired Holly Harris as his manager, nonetheless. Says he doesn't need her anymore. Wow, now he's now he's definitely got an ego. <laughs> Indeed, and Tommy Ventura will of course have a rematch against Kevin Cash at Eastern Invasion. But uh, anyway, VPOC. Moving on, uh, the the stuff that's currently happening in DCA is interesting. Uh, what what do you think about the Smoky AJ Young feud? Well. You got, of course, you got one of the biggest names in, in virtual wrestling, Smokey. And you have probably one of the mo most vocal people in A.J. Young. Well, A.J. Young, no pushover either. Longest reigning All-Stars champion. Yeah, exactly. I was about to mention that. He, I mean, the guy held the All-Stars championship for, what, five years? Was it five? I think it was five years he held that belt before losing it to Goonie. That's true. And now he's and now he's going after the Call Stars Championship. Uh, I think I definitely think Smokey's days at the top might be a little numbered. Indeed, Smokey, the DCA World Champion. I'll have him next week on Stand Back and Talk. So I'm looking. So personally, I'm looking forward to that because I am a fan of the NIS, obviously, as you can tell on commentary. But, um... Oh, yes. Other than that, uh, I just wanted to say thank you, VPOC, for showing up on Stand Back and Talk. Next week on Stand Back and Talk, folks, we're going to have the DCA World Champion Smokey, and we'll finally get to hear from him about what Matt Farrow said. Well, VPOC, I'd just like to say thank you for joining us, and see you guys. And then, Pleasure. Oh.
All right. Pleasure to be here. And see you guys in the next Stand Back and Talk, and see you guys tomorrow on live. Booyaka!